Last spring, I went with my kids to their all school track meet. Now this is one of those days, it's more like a track and field day where everybody gets together and they all do a bunch of events that they've actually never practiced before. And it was so fun to watch because all my girls were participating in it and they had just different running events and track and field events that they got to do sometimes for the first time and sometimes something they'd done before. And it was a bunch of schools that got together. It was a lot of fun, a great field day. But there came a point where my youngest was going to be in a race for the first time. Now, I've seen her run before and she's a pretty fast runner. She can beat her two older sisters quite easily. So I got up by her at the start line and I said, kiddo, I want you to run as fast as you possibly can. Don't worry about your friends. Don't worry about the person next to you. Just run, 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 run. I will be at the finish line. She goes, okay, mom. And I got to the end of the finish line. I hit record on my phone just as they yelled, go. She took off running as fast as she possibly could. And being as fast as she is, she left all of the kids in the dust. She was running, 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 running. She crossed the finish line with a huge smile on her face. And honestly, she was barely breaking a sweat. It was pretty awesome to see. When I went back and looked at the video though, it was so funny because I was on that video screaming at the top of my lungs, go, 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 you can do it, you can do it. And I'm just screaming. And I sent the video to a couple of friends and I said, please ignore the screaming of me in the background because I was so excited to see her run at her absolute best. I was thinking about that story as I was reading in John chapter eight. And the connection between the two of these might seem a little off at first, but let's look at it together. In John chapter eight, we actually hear the story of the woman caught in the act of adultery. And basically she is brought before Jesus and the Pharisees bring her out and they are ready to fully stone her. The punishment for her sin was to be stoned. And so they're all there and they ask Jesus what he is wanting to do with her. And they said, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses says to stone her. What do you say? And Jesus doesn't respond to them. He just kneels down in the sand and kind of starts to draw in the sand. And then he looks up and he says, whichever one of you has never sinned, feel free to cast the first stone. And they start walking away, oldest to youngest. And eventually he looks up at the woman and he says, where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? And she says, no, Lord. And he says, then neither do I. Go and sin no more. And I looked up that word go, and it says to carry on with the journey of one's life, to go and carry on. And I started thinking about the way that Jesus would have said go to this woman. This was an act of mercy and an act of grace. And based on what we see in scripture, we believe that this woman's life was completely changed from this moment on, that she did what was said, go and sin no more. But when you think about her and who she is, that this woman being probably half naked, drug out into the streets, the thought would maybe be like, oh, go, go away and don't do it again. But that's not what God was saying to her. That's not what Jesus was saying in that moment. He was encouraging her. He was like, go. Go live your life. Don't live this life of sin anymore. Go and be who I have created you to be. And I began to think of how my daughter was running on that, on that track and I'm standing at the finish line shouting, go, 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 you can do it. Jesus is looking at this woman saying, go, you can do this. I believe in you. Don't sin anymore. Go and live the life I've created for you. You know, we have Jesus, the hero, the author, finisher of our faith, standing at the finish line, cheering us on, saying, go, you can do this. I believe in you. Run your race. And so many times we allow the weights of the sins and the things that we have before us to weigh us down. But he's cheering us on. He's calling us to run the race with everything that we have, to go, to sin no more, to leave behind the things that we have done, and to run the race he's called us to. Today, if you've got something you got to lay before God, do it. Something you need mercy and grace for, would you just take a moment, come before him and say, Lord, I, forgive me for this thing. I lay it at your feet so that I can run my race. For he's standing at the end shouting, go, I believe in you. Have a great day.